The last time I saw you in Dallas here to announce this big unification fight, uh, we had the breaking news back then about Andy Reese and Anthony Joshua. And now, something I want to, um, before I get to the uni unification fight, I want to see if you have any comments about the breaking news of Dillian White testing for some sort of banned substance. Do you have any uh, comment on that? Um, I, unusually for me, I have to be a little bit careful what I say because there is a big legal situation going on. There's been a lot of people reporting stuff that's untrue. Um, what I can tell you from my side is that both fighters took part in VADA testing, not WBC VADA testing, but additional VADA testing that was put in place by Dillian White. Also, both fighters took part in UCAD testing as well, which is the British uh, regulation and body. Both fighters were cleared by both bodies and the British Boxing Border Control to take part in this contest. Um, what I can tell you as well is that there was a hearing prior to the fight um, where Dillian White was asked to provide information and that hearing took place and was cleared to box in the contest. So in that respect, and there will be a statement issued tomorrow by him and his team, and that's the information that I can give you. So, you know, the protocol was followed in that respect. Um, I saw some rumours that it was like brushed under the carpet and just sort of it's kept a big secret. It wasn't. Now, there was a process that, that went through here. Information was asked it to be provided. That information was provided and he was cleared by the governing body to compete in this contest. So that's all I can say, unfortunately. But don't, you know, I've seen, again, reports like some, some things that have been said are factually accurate. Some are complete rubbish. Like Matrim were trying to take out an injunction and all this absolute rubbish. A protocol was, was uh, followed and he was cleared to take part in this fight by those necessary to get clearance in this fight. The, you know, the governing bodies, uh, the testing bodies, everybody. Because there's a lot of, um, a lot of uh, information online that we've seen that says uh, that Matchroom Boxing knew about it. I don't know if you can... We knew, we, knew about, we knew about the hearing taking place where he was asked to provide this information and that hearing took place and he was cleared. So, from our point of view, I don't know what else we're supposed to do in that respect. A fighter is cleared of a situation, he's approved to fight by the, the governing body, i.e. the commission, the fight's on, you know? So, again, a lot of stuff that's coming out I've seen is incorrect and Dillian White's dealing with that, but he's going to make a statement that will hopefully clarify the position. All right, well, thank you for your comments on that. I know... I uh, too much. I wasn't supposed to say anything, but I couldn't help it. You're like, I was just... It was supposed to be 15 seconds. Yeah, I mean, look, there's this... When you hear a lot of stuff that's untrue, is it... Uh, and for me, you know, the key is that the process was undertook here. Not, it was brushed under the carpet. We knew, the commission knew, and no one did anything about it. No, there was a hearing to take place, whether this fight should take place, whether he should be cleared. And he was cleared. So that's what I can tell you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more boxing coverage, make sure to subscribe by clicking right here. And don't forget to follow Fino Boxing on all our social media platforms.